I mean, we, we understand that we're a defensive-minded team, and you know, that's what's going to give us the best chance to win. So uh, we just try to limit them in transition points because um, we know they excel in that um, and just try to help each other as much as possible on the defensive end. Chris Gasper, Boston Globe. Jason, what did you learn sort of in your first playoff game here about dealing with the ups and downs? You, know, you started four for four, then you missed seven straight, then you hit that huge three-pointer at the end of the third quarter and seemed to ignite you early in the fourth. What did you learn about sort of just dealing with the emotions and the ups and downs of a playoff game? Uh, I mean, it's a long game, uh, and we understand that. And both teams are playing extremely hard. Uh, so, it, I mean, it's, it's going to go down to the wire. And, uh, you know, that's how I really learned today that uh, you can't really take plays off because uh, every possession matters. Jared Weiss, The Athletic. Uh, Chris, Chris Middleton was really physical on the ball with you. But did you feel a difference in the level of physicality here with playoff defense? Uh, yeah, um, especially you, know, you got three, four days of scout. So, you know, we, everybody was really focused in on both sides. And, um, you know, it, nobody wants to lose, especially game one. So uh, everybody was getting it there all. Bill Doyle, Worcester Telegram. Were you nervous before this game? No, nah, I wasn't nervous. Uh, I was excited, but uh, I wasn't nervous at all. What was what was it like playing in your first playoff game? It was a lot of fun. You know, I always dreamed of this moment. Uh, you know, playing in my first playoff game. Uh, it helped that we were at home. You know, we had our home crowd behind us, and um, you know, we got the first win. Jared Weiss, Athletic again. Uh, there. They were really physical trying to defend towards the corners, and there were a few plays where you tried to drive and kick out, and they were able to get deflections. What do you have to do coming into game two to avoid getting consistent deflections? Uh, I mean, we're going to watch film tomorrow, so you know, we can learn what we got to do better. You know, they're a very long team. You know, Those guys are very long and active on the defensive end. So uh, I mean, we'll figure it out what we need to do better tomorrow. Shrab sure, Blakely, NBC Sports Boston. The way you guys shot the ball in the second quarter to go into half and it still be a relatively close game, was there a sense of relief in the locker room at the half that the game was still within reach based on how you had played? Oh, uh, I mean, we never, uh, you know, feel like the game is out of reach, you know, especially the way that we've competed all year and the, the games that we've had, you know, great comebacks in. Um, we always know it goes down to the wire, you know, with us. So, uh, I mean, was, we were obviously – you know, we could have played better in the first half, and we were only down three. Uh, so, I mean, we were, we were good about that. Jason, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media. Um, what is it like playing for Brad when there's so many emotional ups and downs at the end of regulation and getting reset to get focused for overtime? Uh, I mean, Brad does a great job. Uh, I mean, as well as our coaching staff and, and everybody. We could have easily, you know, just been deflated at the end of regulation. Um, but, you know, we all stuck together, and we came back out there, and uh, we executed and uh, played really well in overtime. Chris Gasper, Boston Globe again. Jason, how much do you, Jalen, and Terry sort of relish the opportunity and responsibility you guys have on this team right now in the playoffs? Um, I mean, we're the three youngest guys, uh, especially in the starting lineup. Um, you know, Terry's his third year in the playoffs, and J.B., uh, second year, so it's my first year. Uh, um, but I mean, we've had significant experience throughout the season, you know, due to injuries, and uh, we've been in tough games. So uh, I thought I think that really helped us out today. Yeah, yeah, J uh, Jason, uh, uh, Bill Roden with uh, the uh, undefeated. Just sort of following up on that, everybody's talking about your youth, your youth, your youth. I mean, you've been playing basketball for a long time. Do you think the youth is a little overstated, or um, is it is it an accurate, uh, you know, concern? Uh, I'm not, I mean, we're not concerned. Um, you know, we have faith in, you know, our abilities, all the young guys, and we've earned our, the respect of all the older guys and the coaches uh, throughout the season. So um, I think that's going to help us in the long run, that, you know, we're young and you know, we just go out there and run and run and run.